All right, folks, welcome to this tutorial that will describe how to set up a basic Arduino blink sketch using the circuit builder that is part of Autodesk's Tinkercad.com online tool. This tutorial assumes that you've already created an account at Tinkercad.com. You've set it up so that it works and you have logged into Tinkercad. So here we go. Look on the left hand toolbar and I've already switched from 3D designs to circuits. And then I want to click on the green button that says create new circuit. In order to create a sketch for an Arduino microcontroller, the first thing we have to do is to indicate that we're going to use an Arduino. You can find that at the bottom of the screen in the components window. If the components window isn't visible and all you see is this, look to the top menu bar and click on the components button. Now we can scroll until we find an Arduino and I'm just going to drag it and drop it towards the bottom of the window. Components window returns, and I also want to get a breadboard. We'll go for the small one, so we have a little more room to work. We'll need this later. So now I've got everything I need to set up this basic blink sketch in Arduino. So I'm going to click on the code editor. Now the way Tinkercad works with code, it gives you two choices. You can either work in something very similar to Scratch, which allows you to work in code blocks, or if you delete the code blocks, you can enter in normal lines of code. Well, we're going to do our code typing on the right side. So let's get rid of these blocks. So click on the block button and you'll get a warning message that says, are you sure you want to close this? Anything you do will be lost. We'll say, okay, goodbye blocks. And then I would like you to delete everything that is here. All right. So we now have a blank program. If you follow the link in the description of this video, it will link you to the code that I would like you to type in. So go ahead and grab that link now. If it helps for you to print the code out and type it, that's fine. You'll notice that this is not copy pasteable. I want you to actually type the code in. So why don't you go ahead and hit pause, get yourself set up and enter in that code. All right, so now we have the code in place. Let me talk briefly about entering any kind of code for any program. Most programs that you work with when you're typing code and programming the language, you have to be specific to spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. So if you're running into any errors, the first thing I want you to do is to compare your code to the code that you copied from and make sure that you've spelled, punctuated, and capitalized everything just the way it looks in the original program. Once you're past any errors and you've corrected those, let's go ahead and run this. Now, the first time you run this, you have to click on the button labeled Upload and Run. And you'll notice in the on the top right, the Stop Simulation button has appeared and our code is running. If you click and drag, you can change your view. And so now you look at the Arduino board and you'll notice that there is an orange LED that is blinking. Go ahead and click Stop Simulation. Stops blinking and the virtual USB cable is disconnected. Click Start Simulation again. We've got power and it's blinking. This shows you that your blink program that you created is running successfully and it's doing exactly what we want, which is to make this orange light in the middle of the board blink. Now, I'd like you to experiment and change a couple of things. Click on Stop Simulation. You have to do that before you can edit any of your code and look down at for me, what's line 11? I want you to change that delay. Go ahead and change it to 2000. Upload and run again because you edited your code. 
and see how that changes the behavior of the light. Experiment and play with the values that are related to these delays. See if you can figure out what they mean. Now, one way you might be able to determine what these delays mean is to read what are called comments. There are comments in the code that you just typed, and you can see them in this video as well. On line one that says int red equals 13, there's a comment that describes exactly what is happening. Commenting your code is one of the most important things you can do as a programmer because it provides information to you so you can remember why did I write line one and what is it supposed to do. It also provides information to someone else who looks at your program so they can have an understanding of what you wanted your program to do. So make some adjustments to the values of the timing. See what happens if you change these to 500. See what happens if you change them to 50. See if you can still see that light blink. Then I'd like you to see what happens after you've experimented with that. Go back to line one and I want you to change this value where it says int red equals 13. Change it to 12. Run it again. See if anything changes in what you see with that orange blinking light. Then change it back to 13. See if that makes a difference. Once you've completed this setup, go to the next video, which is part two, where we're going to add an LED, a resistor, and some wiring to our breadboard so that then we can control the behavior of an LED using your code and the Arduino microcontroller. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Any questions, put them in the comments below.